Today I'm going to show you how you can use this Juno X as a sound card to your DAW. You don't actually need anything more than this and your computer to make cool music. Coming up! To set up your Juno X in your DAW, first of all you have to go to Roland's homepage and download the drivers for your system. I'm using a Mac so I already uh, downloaded the drivers. So that means when I open my Cubase, my Juno X will show up as the audio interface. And that's because I connected it to USB. Okay, so then I start to connect my setup. Uh, as you can see here, it's already found my Juno X here. So this is my sound card for the moment. Okay, then I just go to my audio connections. And what this is in uh, Logic or Ableton, or I'm not sure, but I'm showing you how it works in Cubase. And it works, I think, exactly the same in all the platforms, as long as you know what I'm talking about regarding uh, audio and media and all that stuff. So anyway, I go to my audio connections, and as you can see, it's nothing here so far. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some buses or inputs. So I will start with uh, adding buses. I start with some stereo tracks and I know that this synth has seven stereo tracks in total. That means 14 channels. So I'm gonna just uh, put in seven and I'm gonna add my buses or my audio, audio channels. And as you can see, Cubase detected automatically everything here. So it's all set up. For the stereo in, that's in one and two. That's just the stereo for a total mix for the whole synth. And the stereo two, I will name that. Um, okay, so now you can see part one is three and four because one and two is already used for the stereo input. Part one, two and three, oh, three and four I mean. Part two is five and six, part three, seven and eight, part four, nine, ten, the rhythm part is 11 and 12, and the mic is 13 and 14. Okay, so then I can go to my outputs. Actually, I'm using the control room when I'm uh, using Cubase. So I will address my monitor, that's my uh, uh, headset right now, to the Juno 1 and 2 output. You can actually also use, because there are one XLR output and one uh, jack uh, output on the Juno X, so you can actually also address the XLR or the jacks, it depends on what, what you're using, to output 3 and 4, so you can make a, like a studio control room mix and a mix for your singer or whatever. So as you can see here, uh, these are the three and four output. I'm not going to use that right now because I'm just here on my own. Okay, so now I've connected everything. Uh, that means when I go back to my Cubase and I add some other tracks, I will see them all here in the uh, stereo. These are the th things I was uh, making. Okay, I will add some tracks. I will add five tracks. I can add six tracks. Okay. And I will use stereo in like this. So that means it makes stereo tracks. And now you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six tracks. I will also name this so we know uh, <laughs> what they are. So now you have everything lined up here. The only thing I have to do now is to check if the channel's inputs are right, but they are not actually. The first one is okay because that's uh, gonna be part one, part two, 
support and all the surprises. So now that my Cubase is ready to go, I have to dive into my Juno X to do some final adjustments there to make this perfect with my tool. So I go into my menu, I go to my system, and then I go to my speakers. And I will turn off my speaker so I only can hear it in my headset. You have three different uh, switches on the speakers. You have off, that's totally off, and the only headset uh, is working. And you have on, then you have, of course, the sound on in the speakers. And you have auto. That means it's on unless you pl uh, plug in your headset in the headphones, uh, then it will turn off automatically. So I just put it on auto. Okay, so now that is set. The next thing I'm gonna do, I have to uh, check my MIDI local on and off because I don't want this synth to play double. So I will find my MIDI. There we have the MIDI. And I find a local. You see the local switch is now on. That means that my keyboard will play everything that I play on the keyboards. If I turn it on, uh, I mean, if I turn it off, then there is no sound in this keyboard unless I tell my door which MIDI channel I want to play. So I turn that one off. Okay, one other thing that is kind of important is to set your uh, USB speaker output. Let me see if I can find it. And one other thing is so cool. In the Juno, you can set uh, it to work like uh, all Juno. You can have it to warm up and you can tell the age. So if you want the Juno that's 30 years, you can set it to be 30 years. I want to keep my brand new. But anyway, okay. Then I'm going to find my USB out level. Uh, and there it is. Yeah, it's already set to 127, which is the maximum. Because if this is set on nothing, then you will have no sound, of course, into your door. Okay, so now I think I have done uh, everything that I had to do with this synth for the moment. By the way, if you run main stage in Logic, you can use the Geno X as a controller for a main stage and you can control everything. I'm not using main stage right now, so I'm just going to use my Cubase in a kind of simple MIDI setup. So let's jump back to my door. Okay, so now I have all my audio parts ready to go. Uh, what I will do now is I will also make some MIDI tracks. I will add five of them because it's uh, five parts, including the drums. Okay, so now I have my MIDI set up as well. I will not rename them because it's, I know that it's MIDI channel one, two, three, four, and five. You can of course set them to any MIDI channel that you wish. Okay, so now I have my MIDI one on MIDI channel one, two is on two, you can see here, three is on three, and four is on four, and five is the rhythm. So that's so nice with the Cubase because it's, uh, it's doing this for you actually, so you don't have to think so much. Okay, anyway, so that what happens now is when I will trigger my MIDI channel one, my bass. If I trigger the MIDI channel two, then you will see that it's the next part, part two that is playing. The same goes on and on. Oops. Track three, you see here, track three is playing. Same with number four. And of course the drums. I can call them the drums. Drums. Now I'm ready to record my project in my Cubase, just using the Juno X. So now I've got it all set up. And as I told you, you should make a template like this. So next time you start your project in Cubase, you can just open the template and you don't have to do all the stuff I just did. I only did that to show you. So, drums first. Okay, use this one. OK, 
Okay, that's enough. Okay, I quantize it and I just copy it. Sometimes I'm not sure how long it's gonna be. Okay, the next part I will record is my Yeah, that's very synthwave-ish. I'm gonna use that. And one thing I forgot to mention is that I don't use any effects coming from my Juno when I record in my door because I like to do the effects in my door when I do this kind of productions. Okay, so then I'm gonna record the synth part. As you can hear the drums disappeared for a while there but I had my click so I managed to make it kind of make it I think uh, I think I'll do the bass now and as you can see I don't change anything here on my uh, Juno X because when I change my MIDI channel and my track in my Cubase it that's because the local is off okay then we do some bass. Okay, so that's the bass part. I heard I played something wrong there, but I can fix that. gonna do like that and I'm just gonna copy 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 okay so let's add some pads some nice pads okay so that's some pads now I think I have the whole whole song if you can call this a song okay maybe I should do some singing maybe I should do some singing on top so that's recorded now so then I can just mute my MIDI tracks so as I told you, you can hook up your microphone on the back of the Juno X. So I hooked up my good old SM58. And uh, as you can see, there is the input. So that's the input. Now um, it's actually a stereo, kind of dual mono input, but that's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna sing, I don't know, something. What was that? I don't know. Anyway, this was just a demo of how you can integrate your Juno X with your DAW. This was not a song release. Thank God for that. Okay, see you in the next one. Juno X.